We're doing our Jason Day chipping drill. Get ready, let's rock it out. Don't do these shots at the range. Do them in your yard if you can because there's no pressure at the range. You're just hitting balls into open space. I'm in my backyard. So if I miss, I could break a window. I could go over the fence, lose my ball. There's more pressure here. So it's more realistic to the real thing when you're on the golf course. And we're working on the Jason Day move. It's a 30 yard shot. I have a planter uh, pot out there that I'm trying to hit my balls into. And that's how you get good. Put something like that out there, just a pot that you uh, fill with some soil and mine's made of just a plastic, so it doesn't matter if I break it, and it will really help you. So Jason Day, he does this awesome thing where he just doesn't break down his wrists. Everything stays nice and firm right through here. And if you watch him, and I'll put a link to a little uh, video analysis that I did with his swing uh, on this video, so you can watch that as well. And please subscribe to the channel. Just click the button, I think it's right up here. Just click subscribe, that'd be awesome. I really appreciate it and we'll get some cool tips, drills, fun things to help your game along the way. So I'm just working on this 30 yard shot across my yard. And I have my skills mat here, which I love. I can kind of go out of the rough or the, you know, the, the fairway style. And I like the, um, the tighter cut better because it just helps me know, did I hit the bounce first? Did I hit the, uh, the turf first? And Jason Day, he just, no wrist breakdown on the backswing. And then as he comes through, he squats down a little with his knees and just rotates through. He doesn't move forward into the shot at all. He doesn't lean down into it. Feet are close together, just balance, 50-50 weight, rotate, and he actually squats down. And if anything, you're moving a little backwards on it. So you could put the ball a little back in your stance if you're going to, to do that and just rotate through. It's just a rotational move. No wrists, you know? And he's not whipping it inside. That's another style shot if you wanna practice that, but he just takes it kinda of outside and rotates through. It's, I can't emphasize that enough. It's the rotation that's key. And if I'm feeling like I'm feeling I'm too far out here, I don't want that. I just want quiet body right through there. That's all I really want. The reason I love a 30 yard shot, 20 yard, 30, 40, 50 yards, is because anytime I'm in trouble on the golf course, I'm in some trees, I drove a, I hit a bad drive, I try to pitch it out to about 30, 40, 50 yards in front of the green, if possible. And then I know about you know, 80, 90% of the time, I'm gonna get up and down for par. So these types of shots in your backyard really help you on the golf course because there's pressure here. You don't wanna break a window. You don't wanna go in someone's yard. You don't wanna go over your fence. Pressure here will pay off out there on the golf course. Well, there you go. That's the drill for the day. Hope you got something good out of it. Please hit the like button below, smash it, Share it, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and we'll see you on the course.